Here we are, Simeon B. Ran three fifty-seven. Four high schoolers went sub four, but he's not satisfied. Talk about why and what was your goal today? Um, goal is to get um, the U.S. standards. So obviously, quite a bit short of that. Um, got boxing at the start, but you know I'm always happy to get the win. Yeah. So a PR is a PR. You know, you got to be a little happy with today, even though you wanted more. Um, what what could have went differently, and what happened? You said you got boxed in where and why, and you said the rabbit was a little off. Talk about that. Yeah, I mean, I just couldn't get out at the start. Um, I had a horrible start off the line. So I should have just like went all out off the line and been, been more aggressive. But And then just pushing in the middle part of the race. Um, we, we never like really ran fast for 59 to start. So um, we got to get some more 58s in there and work on closing a bit harder and we'll be good to go. Yeah, so, you know, at least you learned maybe a little bit about racing in this race, I guess, a little bit. Or, or talk about like you take a positive away from everything. What was the one positive you could take away from this race? Yeah, I mean, the positive was... Um, yeah, I mean, I learned a lot. I learned that um, I can win even when things like don't go my way, and um, I, I, know, I won't give up during a race. And I think I showed that there. Yeah. So, how cool was this event to be with all your boys? Like right now, you have the fastest kids in the country right behind you. You know, talk about did that add to the atmosphere? Did that was that something maybe led you to a PR as well, even though it was not in the race? Yeah. I mean, it's so much fun coming to these races. Um, I just get to like hang out with all my friends and, and get a race with the top guys. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you come into this kind of as like together as a team, you want to do something special, um, and that um, really helps. Yeah, so talk about the shoes. You tried Hoka shoes. I did. Different. Did you like them? Be honest. Like, we're here for that. Yeah, I mean, I'll be, str I'll be straight up. I was a little concerned before, um, but they felt really good, actually. Like, I mean, I, was, I mean, I'll be, I'd be concerned wearing any new spike for the first time in, yeah. a, in a really big race, like maybe the biggest race of my career so far. Um, but I felt really smooth, I felt really good, I felt explosive, and I mean, Hulk was on top that race. Yeah, no, they crushed, and it, even besides your race, you know, both their athletes won the mile. Owen Hacker had a hell of a kick, and um, uh, Abby broke the meet record with 426 in the girls, so that was pretty, you know, those shoes are working somewhat. Um, yeah. But, um, uh, and then some more questions are, you know, have you run in a pro race? I've never run in a pro race. Yeah, are you waiting for that for a reason? Or like, why, what, and do you think you could, I think you could mix it up with them. Do you think that would be something that you, instead of leading races or having rabbits, if you got pulled? Like if you were in free where they're running 350, do you think that's something that you would thrive off of? Or do you like being a, a guy that's in the lead? No, 100%, I would do that. Um, haven't gotten the invite. I can't race pro races in South Dakota. Like that's Oh, not that's why you haven't done it. Okay. Um, but I can now, um, but honestly, like, it's expensive, man. Like we can't, we can't just like go any race we want. But if someone like, yeah, like if it was paid for um, and I got like an invite, of 100 percent, and I think I could be one of the top um, runners in those races and still shoot for the win. Yeah. So, talk about your uh, what, were, what was one of your last workouts leading up to this that made you confident that you could go for like that qualifier, like, that standard. Yeah, my last workout, um, I did my first double threshold ever. Um, <laughs> so I did. Um, six times three on, one minute off in the morning, and then I did a two mile tempo plus some like strides around at mile pace. So nothing crazy. Um, it How was fast just, those? Yeah. I, I don't know. They weren't fast because I was my hamstring chain, probably like just 28, 29s. Um, and then the best workout, I guess, was probably just my state meet, which was like four or five days ago I saw that. when I raced four times. And I ran 402, 1600 solo with like 75. And like, yeah, we had like the wind emoji, obviously super windy in South Dakota. So um, that was probably like my true last workout before I came. Cool. Putting South Dakota on the map, what's that mean to you? You know? Yeah, I mean, it's not often you hear about great athletes from South Dakota. Um, so I'm really glad I, I can like put my name out there and like. Um, show South Dakota kids what can be done. Yeah, you might have one or two, three more races of your, of your high school career. What are you going to do and what are you going for? I want a national record, man. I want to get in the USA's. So um, I'll have some decisions to make of what race I want to run coming up. There might be some switches. I don't know, depending on what I decide I want to do. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll never be satisfied, um, but I'll always be happy to get wins like these. Awesome. Got a little Prefontaine in them. <laughs> What's one fun fact about yourself non-running related? Then we're done. Uh, I'm a saxophone player. I love playing jazz. Oh, yeah? yeah. Have you ever heard of Clarence Clemens? Uh, Bruce I, Springsteen. He's my favorite saxophonist yeah. ever. Bruce Springsteen, East, East Street Band. But that's right. awesome. What's your favorite song to play to if you were to rip right now? Rip right now? I do care just for right now. Just because it's like night out. Um, kind of like the vibes, you know, you gotta have a popular side. What'd you say it was? Can't switch me. Oh. <laughs> Super fabulous. Yeah, bro. Awesome. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you.